Guys, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry for not bringing this update, but let's get right into this video. What's up, investors? Welcome back to a brand new stock market investing video. I'm back again guys with another video. In this video, we're looking at the workhorse sticker symbol WKHS because I have a crazy, crazy video. So let's get right into this video without wasting any time. I sold workhorse shares, that's why I'm really making this video. So, if you are new to my channel, consider smashing that red subscribe button, turn on notification for more daily stock market investing videos. If you want more content every single day, consider subscribing to my second channel, Invest is Best. And of course, if you haven't joined the NIS stock price prediction for the next five years, consider joining that by filling out the form in the description and you will get access to a free of a file just like this one, but those stuff will be open. And if you want access to that, and it's basically price prediction for the next five years, for until the end of 2025 uh, consider smashing that subscribe button now i do want to say a huge thank you for 2228 subscribers really does mean a lot to me but let's get started and uh, now you guys are probably wondering why did you say sorry that's what i'm going to explain in just a bit but before i uh, really explain what i said sorry i do want to look at worker stock and dphc so worker is currently down 16.50 percent dphc is down 13.88 and this is really, really um, bad news, but it may be good news for some investors that haven't bought shares of the company. It's a good opportunity for them to buy it. Maybe 22 bucks is a very, very good opportunity to buy because some people bought it around like 25, 27, and they're still happy with it. They were happy with it. So 22, I think you guys should be happy with buying that stock. Now, I'm not telling you to buy it. I'm not telling you not to buy it. There has been a lot of things happening right over here. But before I really get into why I said sorry and everything like that, let's look at this news. Why shares of four course group, ticker simple, uh, WKHS and Diamond Peak, ticker simple DPHC holdings dropped on Wednesday. Why did it drop? So what happened? Shares of electric van maker, workhorse, TB, WKHS and Diamond Peak, ticker simple TPHC, a shell company that will soon merge with electric pickup startup and workhorse offshoot, Lorsan Motor were both down sharply on Wednesday. There was no new negative news on Wednesday, but CNBC's Jim Kramer did give a pessimistic ass uh, assessment of Lorstan, uh, Lorstan Motors' prospect earlier this week, possibly influencing investors. So, I'm not going to really read through this whole thing because I do want to really get into the part that uh, why I said sorry and how much shares I've sold, how much profit did I take. And let's get right into that part. Now, for that to really understand, for me to really make you guys understand why I said sorry, that's why I have this chart analysis. So before market opened, around Monday it was, let me just find the exact date it was. It was around here, I think uh, 21st of September it was, or two, uh, 18th of September, I think it was 18th of September, yeah, before market actually opened. So they were at 18th of September, I was actually on this chart, I was wanting to make this video, but you guys know what we are. The internet wasn't really working, I couldn't record a video and you guys know we are in state before lockdown so there are, there's so many strict rules where I am so sorry I, I couldn't make a video but you guys are probably wondering so you were analyzing the company so what but I was analyzing the company and forget about those three other lines so I was like this thing actually let me go with wrong I was like if we look at here right around here this part and uh, sorry if I didn't draw that right I was like, this can happen again right over here. So I was like, that has a chance of happening again right over here. And I was right, it did happen. The company did drop. And I was like, I should have made a video about this when I'm looking at this. I was like, I should have told my subscribers and other workers investors that be ready that the uh, stock is going to drop if you want to sell. And I was really not sure that it is actually going to work because I was like, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial analyzer. So how am I meant to know that it's going to drop? How am I going to... Now really prove that I'm right. But now that I look at this, I'm like, I should have made a video and I should have updated you guys with this. So here's what's uh, going on. I was analyzing the company before market opened. It was Monday because, uh, I mean, Monday of here is Tuesday of America. So before market opened, I was analyzing the company it was pre-market and I was like, does this company again have a chance of going over 30 bucks, 32, 35 bucks? And I was, I was looking at this chart, I was like, and there's going to be no way that it's going to happen. And I was looking at some other stuff as well, 
from other investors that were doing analysis and they were posting pictures that work is gonna drop then I did my own analysis before I looked at their pictures I was like yeah this is gonna happen there's a very very high chance that this is gonna happen so I was like uh, okay let's wait let's see what happens and if we look at here the company actually for the past five days it just started going down so you can see for the past five days the company is currently down 12.74% and now you're a little interested at what price I sold, how much profit I took, right? So I sold uh, 104 shares of mine that I bought. I had 260 shares and I sold uh, 104 shares of mine, which is 40% of my portfolio or my workhorse shares. I sold 40% of my position in workhorse and I sold it at around 29 bucks, so which was a good price. Now you're interested if you haven't been following my channel for a long time, at what price did I buy? I bought at around 15.42 uh, and I sold at 29, which was big, big profit. Now why I said sorry is that because I couldn't really update you guys that the company is going to drop and that is why I literally said sorry. But again, let's find out how much profit I took when I sold. So I sold at 29 bucks, uh, I sold work course at 29 bucks and I took a whopping profit. So I saw uh, 104 shares that I sold and I bought those at 15.42. It's $1,600, $1,603. And now if and that's and I sold them so one thousand six hundred and three dollars. Now I sold at uh, around twenty nine bucks so one hundred and four uh, times by twenty nine. So let me just use this. That's three thousand sixteen bucks. So I literally basically doubled my money in there, not full on doubled it. Uh, basically, I went up around seventy to eighty percent. I basically doubled it because if we literally look at there because. Uh, 1,600 to 3,000 that equals if we double 1,600 it equals starting 3,000 200 3,300 so I didn't full on double my money but I again took a whopping 1,500 profit I think it was and uh, so if we go that minus by 1,600 I'll just take it simple 1,600 uh, I took a profit of 1416 which was really really great I was happy with it but I wasn't happy that I couldn't update you guys so I'm really sorry about that but I do want you guys to remember that Again, from my chart analyze that I did, I knew that this company was going to drop, but I just wasn't having the feeling to making uh, the video about it because I was like, what if I'm wrong and the people sell and the stock goes over 40 bucks and I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. So again, again, the company has a huge potential going for go forward and I just wanted to make this video to update you guys with the company. I hope you guys did enjoy it. So I did uh, take a whopping good profit, and I still have. I'm still holding the company because I know this company has a, has a huge potential going forward. I just sold it because I didn't really think that money really goodly belongs there. I thought another company or maybe I'll buy more worker shares uh, later this week or next week. But yeah, I still have uh, worker shares. I'm still happy with the company. I still believe in the company because the USPS contract just went uh, high to eight billion dollars from six six point three billion. So I really do believe in the company and let's hope some good luck for us investors that are investing into workers. And again, remember that I'm not a financial advisor, neither am I a financial analyzer, but this part maybe I was lucky. And remember that I told you guys that I really thought the company was going to go down and it was around 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock when, when I was doing the analysis. I was like, let me record a video quick on this. And I was like, if I record a video and the company goes up to 45 bucks, what are my followers going to say? Are they going to say, you told us to the company is going to drop and you told us uh, good opportunities to sell. And now the company is going up to 45 bucks and we sold for no reasons. That's why I didn't make a video, but just keeping you guys updated with what's going on with my workers portfolio and why the company is basically down. There has been some bad news with Lordstown Motors and they hold the 10% stake of Lordstown Motors. That's the reason, but still remember that this stuff shouldn't scare you guys as much because long-term investors, this stuff happens a lot. So that was basically it for today's video. If you guys did get some free value, consider smashing that subscribe button, turn on notification for more stock market investing videos. And for today's video, I'm out of here.